All right, y'all. I know y'all had some questions. So let's get to it. I'm about to show y'all how I applied my own drawing onto the 3D model. I copied an image from one of my past drawings that I did and I paste it on and this is for the leg so let's see how it come out is it show you the body part sometimes it don't be perfect but what you can do is always switch from the show 2d texture to the 3d model and you see how it's wrapped around the subject yeah so if I want to change that I just go back into 2d if I want to readjust change anything up Go to 2D, back to 3D, and see how it's fitting, if it's wrapping perfect or not. And I'll just basically keep doing that until I feel I got things right or perfect enough where I want them. Okay, since we got things where we wanted at now, I think it looked good. So what I'm going to um, do now is let's add another layer on top of that. And... This is how I basically start drawing on my canvases. I'll just go to my normal drawing part, which is the sketching pencil first. Just sketch what all I need there. Okay, I just added those two leaves, but now I'm going to add another layer. And we're going to go to the paintbrush. Starting off with the leaf, and I hold down just the toggle the color get the color of the leaves there use that and go down paintbrush of course and I start shading it and make it look bigger and this is how I draw on the canvas you can rotate the model and continue to draw like how some of those flowers missing you see I get the color of those flowers and I continue to add on and all you need to do is rotate your model and then continue to draw on whichever is missing. And it's missing because this is how I copied the canvas. I had half of the design erased. It was meant for a 2D template. So I only kept what was inside of the um, leg lining. Then I come back with a little outline just to add what was there. See how it's wrapping the shape even more. Make sure I follow that to structure it out. And for the color in the flowers, if you know anything about Procreate, of course, I add the layer underneath the black so it don't color on top of the black. That's something that you should always do. The layers make a big difference. Now what I'm going to do is start on the background, create another layer that go underneath the top layer so I could color right underneath the flowers. I ain't got to worry about touching none of the black, any of that. Just color straight over all that, but it's going to automatically be on the layer underneath it. So that'll make it go by a lot faster for you. So you ain't got to be all safe without touching your line. Now I'm just about to go and hit a couple of highlights, a little whites here and there. Normally that'd be the last thing I'm doing, but now y'all let me know what y'all think this kind of the base of it you know see as i'm rotating the model around you can see everything as it's wrapping i drew on it first i placed it the canvas a copied canvas on that i drew then i drew to go more around it so if y'all have any questions let me know